Okay, so welcome to day seven, St. Bart's. So what are some, some fun facts about St. Bart's? Very rich country. Yeah. Here everything is super expensive from what they're telling us. We haven't been on the, on the island yet, but we're gonna pay. But we do know that. I mean, we have heard that before. And they said, um, you know, not very long ago, it was actually one of the poorest countries. So um, obviously somebody with some money discovered it. That was that, like other like other beautiful places in the world. Um, St. Bart switched hands between the French and the English. Um, the Spanish, the first people coming by and discovering it, like most other most other um, islands, islands down, here. down here. They kind of all have a lot of history of the same. Um, but then they received their independence actually fairly recently, maybe within the last 30 years or so, they became independent. Um, so it's supposed to be a beautiful island. Um, there's some great beaches here. There's, we were told one place to do some snorkeling if we want to. Um, the thing about St. Bart's today for us is that they actually have their first regatta going on in a few years. And it happens to be now these three days. And so the island is supposed to be just packed with people. Right. So it's going to be a hard day to get around, so we're told. Yeah. And an expensive day because apparently some prices fluctuate depending on how busy the island is. So, so it all depends. So we're still in another beautiful location. Last day on our cruise. So join us as we discover St. Bart's. So this is the area around where we're going to be walking, and uh, that's what we're going to find out. And I guess the nearest beach is over here, which is Shell Beach, so we might take a hike over there. So, so the regatta's in town, so I said that this is supposed to be a busy day because the regatta's here. And there goes, obviously, a team of the regatta came out. Yep. Like all these are. Yeah, they're all getting ready to head out. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so here's kind of an example of what is on St. Mark's. So this house kind of see it through the reflection, but this one is 33500 a week. A week, four bedrooms. For that house, very nice. And this one's for sale. It's $8 million. And that's like just a little house, yeah. just inland at the water. No, overlooking Gustava, so it's like, yeah, right okay. here. Um, so it's right in the main area of town. It's, there it is, I was just, uh, two bedrooms, two bath, $8 million. And that, that one's 30000 a week. That one's 28000 a week. Very nice. Very nice places. Okay, we are at, how do you say the name of this? La Bar. There it is. La Bar of the. And here's what we got so far. Is Lisa got an organic IPA. It's right made right here on BART. And I got a drum the well, which is on draft. Mine's blonde, and Lisa's an IPA. All right, cheers. Cheers, and then here's our view. We've heard how ridiculously expensive it is, but I, you know, it's not. I mean, the beers we got were seven bucks by 12 euros. So they were what? Cheers. Well, well, this was, this is a, a pint of this pen. And this is a regular 12 ounce beer, it was five or six euro. Euro, so yeah, seven. Yeah. 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 So don't don't get them like but it's not crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. It's the end of the end of the trip. Oh, I hate this one that happens. We're at the end of our Windstar cruise. I have been wanting to come on a Windstar cruise for a long time. So we want to give you guys the scoop on what worked and what didn't work and if you should be coming on the next Windstar cruise. Is us. this cruise for you? Okay, so here's what we got. For our top five, we want to give you a couple bonuses actually before we give you the top five. Right. One of our bonuses is on this ship, they include specialty coffees like your cappuccinos and your uh, uh, lattes, your uh, soft drinks are all included, including and, bottled water, by the way. Yeah, and so when you go on excursions, they'll give you water, bottled water, but in your um, stateroom, they also give you water there all the time, which we really like having. Like, I hate it when I have to go on ships and buy bottled water all the time, and it comes in aluminum cans or whatever, they say that they filter the water. And I gotta say, the water is good. Yeah, they filter it three times. Right. Yeah. So the bottled water and the soft drinks and the cappuccinos and everything, it's all included here. You don't have to pay an extra $30 per person per day for that. <laughs> for um, water. <laughs> for water, which makes me crazy. So that is actually Just a moment. Processes. They created like all these extra special moments on the ship. And you know, um, like um, they did a beach barbecue and took us over to uh, the beach in uh, St. Lucia. And they did a barbecue night here the other night um, on board. So they, they actually go an extra mile trying to find these ways to put together these uh, special moments. And make it special. So they make the crew special. Yeah. You know, instead of just the same thing every night and every night and every night, they really do go out of their way to try to create these things that are your our memorable. And the beach barbecue last night was definitely one of them. Wow. That was a lot of fun. We had a lot. <laughs> they, they turned it into not only great food, but a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot. They did a great job. It's so let's cruise. start with number five. So our number five reason that you may want to take a Windstar cruise is... The staff. Yeah. The staff is so friendly, so nice, and so the, amazing. The service has honestly been incredible on here. You know, in a day and age where service gets worse and is horrible and not everything it used to um, be not here. Um, they're always, what can I get you? What do you need? You're never waiting for anything. Um, they're a lot of fun. They're super nice people. They really do care about whether you're having a good time. So the number five reason to take a Windstar cruise is basically the service the and the staff. So number four is just the relaxed, slow pace of a small cruise. Yeah, and especially like the Windstar brand. You know, everybody in their daily lives gets so busy and they've got so much going on. And we even had a couple we were having dinner with and um, she, he's like, can I just, I just want to sleep in today. I just don't want to have to have anything planned. I don't want to have to do anything. I want to relax before we go home. And if you're looking for that relaxing cruise where you don't feel like every minute's planned out and you have no time to unwind, then um, the Windstar Cruise would be for you. You really want to come here when you're just looking for that slower pace and ready to unwind and look at some beautiful scenery no matter what your destination is. So it's an easy cruise. Yeah, so that's our number four reason is just pure relaxation and um, unwinding and recharging. So our number three reason for this cruise is the small ports for this small ship can get into spaces that big ships don't go. Yeah. So, for example, on this cruise, we went to La Sainte and Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Uh, Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Sorry. We went to La Sainte in Guadalupe, um, where a big boat just can't dock. And that is one of the benefits. We also went to Pigeon Island in St. Lucia, whereas most of the big boats go into Castries, where we were up on the northern side on a beautiful beach on Pigeon Island. And that is a reason to take a Windstar cruise, mm -hmm. because you are going to be able to fit into these ports and stuff that these big behema of ships just aren't going to go. And with that comes less crowds, yeah. too. When you're in the big ships, where they dock, where all the big ships dock, you're in a big crowded area and these small ships go to places that, that just doesn't happen. So yeah. it's very nice. Our number two reason why to take this cruise would be the food. The food is just been over the top for me. Yeah, so Windstar has um, teamed up with the James Beer Foundation 
um, which is a foundation for helping up and coming chefs um, become known. Uh, and the food and the menus that they have come up with are actually exceptional. I think I enjoyed every meal, every meal on this show. Yeah, it wasn't a hit or miss. It wasn't like when we went to a meal, we were like, oh, we know we're going to have a good meal today. Mm -hmm. So the number two reason for coming on a Windstar cruise is the food. the food. So the number one reason why we think you should go on this cruise would be just getting to know people. Personable. You know, on so many of the big ships and everything, everybody's running around and nobody's talking to each other. But here the expectation was different. The, here the expectation was is that everybody would say hello to each other. Everybody kind of got to know each other. And it's so weird on these when you do that this way is that you get to kind of see the same people over and over again. We just had dinner tonight with a lovely, lovely couple um, from Pennsylvania. The other night we ate with some great people from both our area, um, right, down in water. the Clearwater area, um, and another couple that was there. And just hearing their stories and where they've come from and what they do is part, for me, the joy of, of cruising this way. Right, I think we really got to know people. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, and we met another couple, so there was a whole group of parrot heads on the <laughs> um, cruise, and we got to know a couple of other couples that were part of that parrot head cruise. And um, and they were also from our local area, That's right. which is very, very strange. And then, so when you'd be on the shore, like we were in St. Bart's today, and there was another couple that we had met um, from the boat, and we were like, hey, and they came over and had yeah, lunch, lunch with, with us them. on yep. the on the at the little restaurant we were at which was just really enjoyable and it it's like it, i guess everybody wants friends i want friends believe it or not always don't be afraid to get to know people i think that's yeah. that would be my advice for even going on any cruise yeah. especially small cruises i think people are just much more open to get to know other people yeah, I really, really like, nice. it's nice to have friends. And here you've got a bunch of people that have a similar interest, um, doing similar things together. You get to find out what other experiences they had and what you got to do or what you missed doing. And um, I just think getting to know people on this cruise is the number one reason for taking a Windstar cruise. Because those are five top reasons why you should take this cruise. Yeah. So um, see you on the next Windstar. Yeah.